I saw a dental device, you know, and, and you're a sock manufacturer, and it's, it's really a great I'm, I'm not a personal sock manufacturer. Well, a sock designer. A sock designer. I just have a little pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so essentially this guy, he had a sock factory. Yeah. And uh, he lived in Germany, pre-war. And one day, somebody was caught stealing socks. And they caught him, and they, they said, wait, wait, we caught him, we take him to pictures. And he said, no, no, there's no, there's no good for the pig. And he says to the employee, who's stealing his socks, he says, why are you stealing socks? Oh, well, you know, it's so hard these times, and I don't have any money, and now this is... And he says, all you have to do is ask. Okay, go. And he goes home. And the police aren't involved. Nazi Germany occurs, and they rounded up the sock factory owner, and he's in the concentration camps, and they in a queue, and they're being sent to Auschwitz. Yeah. And his, his wife, and his two children, and her mother. And the one person calls him aside, and it's the guy who had been stealing socks. And he calls him aside and he starts beating him. And the son says, Papa, Papa, is it time to take the cyanide? And the guard leans over to him and says, oh, No, no, don't, don't take the cyanide. I must keep beating you, otherwise it will be suspicious. The Swiss are coming. They will take you away. And him and his family were evacuated. Because this guy and what a beautiful sock story! <laughs> Watch the TED talk. Yeah, but it's the, it's the most beautiful story because this, this factory owner was like, "Why are you doing this? It's just 